OMG, welcome back to my channel. So excited that you are here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn. And I'm coming at you with, uh, why I have the ding heat on. Why did I do that? Hang on. <laughs> it was cold this morning and now it's hot. Okay. And it was just blowing hot air at me. Um, Coming at you with a midweek drugstore haul. We got some awesome Ibotta rebates that showed up. And I wanted to pair it with uh, some drugstore deals that we have going on. So I'm going to be shopping at Rite Aid today and at a Walgreens. So we're going to do a couple transactions at, at Walgreens and a couple transactions at Rite Aid. Fairly small haul, but it's going to be a nice little money maker. Uh, if you're new and you just found me, so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. I appreciate you. Uh, all right, let's just get in. If you enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Let's go grab some awesome deals. Happy Wednesday. We are at the Walgreens. We're going to start off here. And of course, I'm over by the cosmetics because I showed you on Sunday. We have all these orange tags everywhere. And I bought a rebates just showed up for Revlon. Uh, in my store, because this is going to vary per store, Revlon probably has the least amount of clearance. But I did find some lip products. They also had some nail products on clearance, uh, but we don't have any Ibotta rebates for those. So I found two of these lipsticks up here. They're on clearance for $5.29, but they are on sale for buy one, get one 50% off. And I found a couple of more right here. So I'm going to grab four of these. So four is gonna total me $15.87, and I did this on purpose because I received this monthly spend booster of spend 15 six times, or in back $15 in Walgreens cash, so I want this trip to count towards that. For the Revlon, I'm gonna use two $3 paper coupons, and then I have a digital coupon for $3 off of two. So that'll drop me down to $6.87 for these four. And then I will submit to Ibotta for $4 back on each one. Makes them a dang $9.13 moneymaker. Oh, I forgot. There's also a dollar bonus when you redeem two offers. So it actually makes them a $10.13 moneymaker. And I did a transaction on this card already on Sunday. So you can see it's already tracking one of my trips towards that monthly spend booster. I do have a video linked down in the description box where I walk you through how to track that monthly spend booster in real time. And because this is a spend 15 and I only have $15 in products, I won't be paying with any Walgreens cash, but I'm gonna throw in a register reward. So I have just a super duper low out of pocket. And then this will give me my second trip towards that booster. All right, I am switching cards. I have one card that received a spend 22 earn back $7 in Walgreens cash digital booster that I have not used. And I'm doing the dang $15 register reward deal again. This time I'm gonna grab these big old Lavinos. They are $14.49, but they are buy one, get one 50% off. And I do have an only for you coupon for $3 off of one. And my store is all out of Band-Aids, cause probably cause I bought them all. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, the Neosporin, the big ones. So these are a buy one, get one 50% off. So two of them will be $18.29, I think it is. And the Neosporin is actually on a store promotion of spend 15, earn back a $5 store coupon. And it's actually $18.73 for the two. So these four products total me $40.46. I have an only for you $1 digital coupon off of Neosporin. And for the second one, I'm gonna submit to the coupons app. And then I'm also going to pair in this paper spend booster of spend 40, earn back $10 in Walgreens cash. That will pair with my digital spend booster of spend 22, earn back seven. And I also have the healthy summer bonus digital booster of spend 30, earn back $10 in Walgreens cash. I've been getting a lot of questions on that booster. All digital boosters, all of them are a one-time use only. And all digital boosters will stay in your clipped coupon folder until they expire, even if you have used it. If that confuses you, you can always go into your clipped coupons and unclip that digital booster if you know you've already used it because it does, even though it's in your clipped coupon folder, it will not work a second time. I've already done it. 
on my other two accounts, but I haven't used it on this account. And I did a different version of this deal in my Sunday Walgreens haul and got a ton of questions because I used Walgreens cash to pay and people were so confused because the register reward deal that I'm doing is spend 40, earn back a $15 register reward. And I use Walgreens cash. It doesn't matter if it's labeled as spend when you are earning a register reward, you can always pay with Walgreens cash. I won't be doing that in this transaction because I'm using the paper spend booster of spend 40, earn back 10, and I'm not building my transaction up. So what I'm gonna pay after coupons for this is 36.46. I'm gonna earn back a dollar from the coupons app for the second Neosporin, $27 in Walgreens cash for the three boosters that I'm using, a $5 store coupon because I spent over $15 in the Neosporin products, and then a $15 register reward for spending 40 on participating products. The video where I explained this whole deal, I've, this is the fifth time I've done it now. Um, yeah, the fifth time. It's linked in the description box. There are only certain products that qualify for that $15 register reward, so go watch that video. Then I'm gonna go ahead and submit over to the Activate Rewards Visa promotion and earn back a $10 virtual visa. That ends on the 18th, so I decided to just go ahead and do it in this transaction. So these four products right here are gonna be a dang $21.54 moneymaker. And all register rewards are rolling, meaning you can use them on the same deal you earned them on. I have used a $15 register reward that I earned on this deal to do another deal. I've been getting that question a lot too. All register rewards are rolling. All right, we're gonna head over to Rite Aid. Walgreens does have a deal on Dove deodorant, but it's way better over at Rite Aid for me. So I'm gonna head over there and do some awesome Dove transactions. All right, I'm at the Rite Aid, and uh, this is the one, the only one in my area that has self-checkout. I showed you guys yesterday, I think, that I use self-checkout. I'm going to use it again today. So we've got not the spray deodorants, but the regular stick deodorants. They are buy one, no, they're buy two, get one free, and they are on promotion for spend 20, earn back $7 in bonus cash with, I think it's a limit of two. And I have a Dove bonus cash challenge. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab three of these stick deodorants. Since they are buy two, get one free, the third one will literally ring up for zero, does not count towards any spend requirement. Now the Dove spray is on a separate promotion, regularly priced and buy two, earn back $4 in bonus cash. I'm gonna go ahead and grab two of those. For my Dove stick deodorant, I'm gonna use two 250 coupons and I also have a 250 digital coupon that I think will apply to the third free one. And then for the spray deodorants, I'm gonna go ahead and use two $3 paper coupons. And since I only have, these are $8.99, the stick deodorants at my store, I only have $17.98 in products. I won't actually earn back the $7 in bonus cash in this transaction, but it will track and I'm gonna do another transaction. But I will earn back the $4 for buying the two spray deodorants and I wanted two separate Ibotta rebates to hit my midweek $5 bonus on Ibotta. And I went ahead and printed off this five off 25 coupon. Since I'm at self-checkout, it will ask me to insert the coupon and y'all let me know that the earning ones, like when we get the spend 50, earn 10, you don't have to, and you don't have to insert those into self-checkout. So thank you so much. And I'm just gonna pay this with bonus cash and then I'm gonna submit my receipt to Ibotta for $2.50 back on each one of the spray deodorants. And this one, I didn't notice at first, but it does say you can't use coupons, but Ibotta still gives me the rebates. So do with that what you want to. If you don't feel comfortable doing it, then don't. And I'm going to submit to Ibotta for $2 back on each one of these stick deodorants. Now I'm gonna do another transaction and finish off this spend 20, earn back seven, but I'm gonna finish it, I'm gonna do it two times. So I'm grabbing three more of the stick deodorants, which between my first transaction and this transaction is gonna bring me to 35.96 in what I'm spending in these particular Dove products. 
and I'm gonna use three of the $2.50 paper coupons. And then to get me up to $40 in Dove, so I earned back the $7 for spending 20 twice, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab one of the packages of bar soaps that are $4.79. So now in this transaction, I'll earn back $14 in bonus cash for spending 20 twice. And I have this Dove bonus cash challenge of spending 39 and I'll earn back $7.80, but that'll get rounded up to $8. And then once again, submit to Ibotta for another $6 back in cash rebates. I wanna use the five off 25 and I'm not quite at $25 in this transaction. My store has uh these bjorn products on clearance so they're gonna ring up for like 237 because they're 75 percent off and we have ibotta rebates for two dollars back on these so i'm at just over 27 dollars now so i'll be able to use the five off of 25 to make it just a spectacular deal it's gonna be like a 15 dollar money maker over at rite aid with all of this Dove deodorant, I'm so excited. Let's head to the kitchen table and go over these receipts. All right, we are back at the kitchen table with this midweek Walgreens haul. Oh, I just saw Clark, but he went, oh, here he comes, I think. Here's Clarky. He's moving around today. <laughs> Anyhow, I like to see Clarky. He was just getting a drink of water. Uh, this was fantastic. Oh my gosh. And I'm going to make it even more fantastic because I met an awesome subscriber in Walgreens and she gifted me a whole bunch of coupons and I want to pass along that blessing. So I have several of the Save and Smart Source that just came out on Sunday. I'm going to do an insert giveaway where I'm going to give away five copies to five of you. So if you want to enter into that giveaway, just drop it down in the comments and let me know that you'd like to enter the giveaway. So incredibly kind of her to gift me with all of these coupons. She has an awesome hookup. No, she does not get them from stolen coupons. I know there are channels out there that are that are like, if you don't buy them from the newspaper, they're stolen. That's absolutely not true. I mean, it could be. I'm sure there are people that steal coupons, but there are also people that do not steal them. And so anyways, she got, I'm not going to explain the situation because it's not my situation to explain them to, but I know they are not stolen. And she gifted me with a bunch of them. So I would like to pass that on to you. So thank you so much, Lori. That was so darn sweet of you. All right, let's go over my Walgreens transactions. Um, so I did two. First was the Revlon. One of my dang coupons got rejected by the system. The system just does not like multiple paper coupons for the same item at Walgreens. I don't know because the coupon says limit one, if that's why it only took one. It was still a huge money maker, so I did, did go ahead and get them. So there they are. Um, there's one of my $3 coupons. The other one got rejected saying exceeded coupon limit. I don't know if it was trying to attach to one of the half price items and that's why. Um, but I did use a $5 register reward and then my $3 digital came off. So $4.86 was what I paid. And I did pay that using my PayPal debit card. And I submitted to Ibotta and got back $16. So I thought they were going to be... <clears throat> a $10.14 money maker, but they ended up being a $7.14 money maker, which I will definitely take. The Catalina machine did spit me out a spend booster and this coupon, which that's a nice coupon. So anyways, then I did my Aveeno Band-Aid deal. You know, the, the repeat deal we've been doing that includes Tylenol, Band-Aid, Neosporin, and certain Avenos. So there is my two Avenos at buy one, get one 50% off and my two, uh, my two, my two Neosporin and my two Aveno. I used that points coupon of spend 40, earn back 10. I used a $5 register reward and then my $3 off the Aveno came off and my $1 off of the Neosporin came off. $31.46 was my subtotal that I paid using my PayPal debit card and I earned back $27.40 in Walgreens cash. 10 for my paper spend booster of spend 40, earn 10. 10 for the summer healthy booster of spend 30, earn 10. 
and seven for my weekly digital booster of spend 22 earn seven. The Catalina machine spit me out a 15 or a spend 50 earn back $11 in Walgreens cash paper spend booster. My $15 register reward and my $5 store coupon. Remember I told you all register rewards are rolling. They have to say manufacturer coupon to be a register reward. These are store coupons. These do not roll. If you use this, uh, then you will not get another one of these back. And if you don't spend enough because this is a store discount, you won't get the $15 register reward either. I have a video that I'll link down in the description box where I teach you how to use Walgreens Cash on any spend deal and still earn it back. And I also go over how to use those store coupons and things that print out of the Catalina machine and all of that good stuff. So anyways, for this transaction, I paid $36.46, my subtotal plus my $5 register reward. I earned back $27.40 in Walgreens Cash, the $5 store coupon, the $15 register reward, submitted to the coupons app for a dollar reimbursement back on the second Neosporin and submitting for the $10 Visa card. Makes it a dang $21.94 moneymaker. So this little haul over at Walgreens was a $29 moneymaker. Fantastic. Then I moved over to Rite Aid to get all of this awesome Dove deodorant. So first transaction I did at self-checkout, it was amazing. I'll just tell you what I did. I typed in my phone number. Then I scanned the two spray deodorants. I love using self-checkout because then I do not have to try to explain to a cashier that the coupons might attach to the wrong items. And so can we scan the coupons after the items? So I make sure they attach because Unilever and PNG coupons are famous for attaching to wrong items and then the other coupons don't work. So I scanned the two spray deodorants and then immediately scanned my $3 coupons. The, the machine asked me to insert them into the slot, which I did. Then I scanned the three Dove deodorant and scanned my five off 25, asked me to insert into the slot. And then I scanned my two 250 coupons, asked me to insert into the slot. And then I hit pay and it asked me if I wanted to use my bonus cash to pay and I hit yes, so it was awesome. So here is um, the two Dove spray deodorants. There's my five off 25 coupon. Oh, that's interesting because in store, the, the five off 25 will attach to whatever item you scan first. Oh yeah, no, that makes sense because I scanned that first. Never mind. I'm, I'm just thinking out loud. And then I scanned um, all of my three deodorants and one was free. My 250 paper coupons attached and then my load to card came off. So 1886 was my subtotal. I paid that using all bonus cash and I earned back $4 in bonus cash. And then I did actually earn enough Rite Aid points to pop me up to the next tier. So that's another $2 in Rite Aid points. And then of course, down at the bottom, it tells me I earned for the degree in Dove spray deodorant. And then I'm tracking $17.98 towards the spend 20 earn back seven on Dove. Then I did my second transaction and I actually went to a different store because I knew they had these on clearance. And so I grabbed um, both of those for $2.37 each. There's my five off 25 coupon. And then I grabbed the um, Dove bar soap and then three more of the stick deodorants with all of my 250 coupons. My subtotal was 1501. I forgot to convert some of my, my points into bonus cash. So I did have to pay a teeny little bit of a subtotal on this one. It was like 253 is what I paid. And I earned back $14 in bonus cash. Um, I earned back the Dove and the Dove. And I do believe that is a limit of two, but I'll have to check. And then now I have spent enough to earn back my bonus cash challenge on Dove for $8. And then in my first transaction, I submitted to Ibotta for $11 back between all five of those deodorants. Got credit for it already and already cashed out. And then I submitted to my other Ibotta account for um, $10 back, two for each one of the Dove and two for each one of the Bjorn products. My first transaction was a $1.86 cost because I hadn't earned anything from the spend 20 earned seven yet. 
And then my second transaction ended up being a $16.99 moneymaker. So all in all, my Rite Aid haul was a $15.13 moneymaker, but then I got enough Ibotta rebates to hit my $5 weekend warrior bonus. So that made everything at Rite Aid free plus a $20.13 moneymaker, which is so awesome. Now I did pay a little bit of cash out of pocket today, but you know I always track that and I only coupon with my PayPal debit card. So what I paid between Walgreens and Rite Aid with my PayPal debit card was $38.85. But what I earned back in PayPal money was $43. So I still gained an extra $4 of what I actually paid in cash versus paying in store money to what I paid. You know what I mean. So it was just an awesome, awesome day all around. A dang $29 moneymaker over at Walgreens and a dang $20 moneymaker over at Rite Aid. So there you go. That is what I have for you on this midweek couponing haul. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. And I will announce the winners on my community tab. Um, I'll give you until Friday at noon because I want to get those coupons out in the mail as soon as I can because some of them do expire next Saturday. Some of them are good through July, um, but some of them do expire next Saturday. And I always get questions. How do I find the community tab? You search anybody's YouTube channel. So search my name, Jody M. Dunn. You're going to pull up my YouTube Click on it, and you're going to see tabs right across the top. Home, video, live. One of them is community. That's where you find the community post. So I'll post that on Friday around noon, the five winners. And thank you again so much to Lori for being so generous and sharing those coupons. All right, I'm going to see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye.